What's up, YouTube? It's JP Dumpy, your BMW Genius here at BMW 4 Washington. DR deepest apologies, it is super bright out, and I do not have a hat because that looks really bad. Not, not, not that me squinting is any better. But with that, let's talk about this. I want to get into the car that's right behind me, the new X7, the LCI. So with that, let's stop chatting about it. Let's turn you around and walk you through all the changes. Alrighty, so super simple easy and straightforward we have the brand new x7 as you can see it does have the split headlight design the brand new stuff for the 7 and x7 series we have the main headlight right down here blacked out side <clears throat> excuse me side views as well as your daytime running lights and turn signals factored in there good lord i wish people would stop honking their horns uh the main thing i want to show about this obviously giant 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 gorgeous new grill on the front loving the design i think it really ties in well with the rest of the way the car looks so if uh, you haven't known uh there has been a couple updates with it so the uh, x7 e-drive 40 uh, still has a three liter inline six b58 engine that makes now 375 horsepower and 383 pound feet of torque 0 to 60 in 5.6 seconds and of course there's no longer the m50 version of this instead there's the m60 which gives you the 4.4 liter v8 which is now the s68 engine no longer the uh Oh, no, the F60, no longer the previous 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. That one now being the first S engine ever in a non M car. Uh, it makes 523 horsepower, 553 pound feet of torque, 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. All those engines, by the way, have a 48 volt mild hybrid to them. They also have a brand new eight speed transmission with launch control, sprint functions for smoother auto start stop, increased efficiency. Uh, the i40 is getting a 40 horsepower bump and a 52 uh, pound feet of torque bump as well. Uh, and then when you get that little extra overboost feature, you get 398 pound feet of torque uh, the m60 is <clears throat> also higher efficiency because of that hybrid setup that they're running right now uh, so if you didn't know by the way the S m60 uh, running that s68 engine uh, is gonna have reduced power for the first 310 miles uh, of it and that slowly unlocks as you uh, go forward just to kind of oh, let's turn that down so i don't get any kind of a to do last thing you want is for that to give us a copyright issue anywho uh what was i saying all right uh so if you get the uh, the uh, m60 you're not gonna get all the power right off the bat so when you start this guy up uh this is not the m60 by the way this is the m40 you'll actually see there's a small locked off area that you'll get up at the top there um but that's not the case here because it's the 40 so it doesn't have that issue um I also want to tell you that a couple things that they get on the outside here is uh, has a lot of the same carryover wheels from the previous version. Um, but you are getting three new wheels as well as 22s and the first time ever 23s that you can get on this. The 22s are a $1,300 option and the 23 inch wheels are a $2,600 option. The base price also increased from $74,900 to uh, $77,850. And the main reasons for that are all the standard things that are now found in it. So of course, for one, you have the iDrive 8, uh, which is you know huge, the giant curved display, 14.9 inch. Uh, center and a 12.8 inch uh, directly in front of the driver right there. You also get heated seats and armrests. Multi-contour seats are now standard throughout all of it. Integrated 5G eSIM. Um, the brand new the brand new controls right here with the new bump uh, gear selector and park button right there. So it makes it a little bit smoother and uh, congruent on the center console right there. And then of course head-up display is standard. If you don't know, this is a slightly bigger head-up display than we've gotten in previous ones. So that's especially fun. You do still have some of the standalone options you can get, like a 7,500 pound uh, trailer hitch. You can also get integral active steering where you have the rear seats, or the, sorry, the rear seats. <laughs> I was looking at the rear seats. Uh, where the rear um, wheels can actually turn either with or opposing the front to give you better stability at high speeds and more maneuverability at low speeds. 
uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, of course, five zone climb control. There are captain's chairs as an option here, as well as an Alcantara headlight as an option as well. Uh, this particular one does not get that, which is, you know, perfectly fine. Uh, something that's especially interesting about the interior, you now get 15 ambient colors for the inside now. And of course, my personal favorite is the new Sense of Fin uh, seats. This particular one is the coffee one. It's one of my personal favorites. Uh, they do come in uh, four different options. You have Silverstone, Cognac, Black, and Coffee. Uh, the Sense of Fin, if you have not heard about it yet, is basically replacing uh, what was the Vernasca leather and Sensitec. Why? Because, I mean, this this 3D quilting is just so comfortable. Like, it's, it's really, you can't tell this is a vegan option. It's just really amazing. It's high quality vegan service, 3D quilting in it, uh, not only here, but also in the back seats as well, which really just brings this whole thing together. Uh, a couple other things that are standard on it are because it has iDrive 8 and the updated uh, front view cameras. That also means you get uh, the 4K view forward, which means you have augmented reality. And if you don't know what the about the new 5G eSIM, that allows you to basically have a digital copy of your phone's uh, SIM card in the car. So even if you don't have your phone in the car, you can still make and receive calls, uh, as well as get a mobile hotspot uh, set up in the car itself. Now, just fair warning, that is currently a T-Mobile uh, setup as of right now. We're still seeing if we can get uh, expanded to X or uh, Verizon and AT&T as well. Uh, just waiting to hear back as whether or not we can get that as well. But as of right now, it's only T-Mobile. Uh, one other thing I do want to bring your attention to, which is especially helpful in the back here. So the new rear entertainment area, you can notice that it still has the USB-C right here. But the thing that makes this especially nice is now these ones are 35 watt USB-C, which means you can actually charge your uh, laptops if you want in the back here. They do have a couple accessories. They have a coat hanger you can get as well as a little tray table and of course an iPad holder as well. That's on the back of both of these seats. Oh, God, I really love these seats. I, I wish I could actually explain how extremely soft these are. Like it's, it's really an amazing setup. It's like super cushiony. You want to talk about really great <laughs> looks on the inside. Oh, and New interior surfaces. I mean, it just it just looks really nice. All these little tiny changes that they did really bring the whole thing together in a great way. Um, oh, digital key plus. That's not a fun thing about this. So if you didn't know, the new X7 with iDrive 8 actually gets digital key plus, which means you can actually use your phone, smartphone, uh, to give you not only access to the car itself, but actually act as a secondary smart key, which means that you can simply have your phone in your pocket, walk up to the car, it'll unlock, uh, kick to open tailgate, all that jazz. Um, and of course, last but not least, if you've been to the back here, let me pull these seats up. I do apologize, I'm currently in a ditch about six feet below the back of the car. Um, so if you're in the back here and if you have the uh, bench on the second row, what you end up getting here is you hit 12.8 inches of cubic feet in the back here. You do still have the extra storage underneath here as well as your bigger cargo cover if you do have a second row or a third row down. Now with the third row down, this increases to uh, 48.6 cubic feet in the back, which is, of course, you know, massive, 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 massive. And then last but not least, if you decide that you want that all, all the row and the, everything possible to you, you can put down the second row as long as you have these and it goes up to a whopping 90.4 cubic feet of trunk space. It's absolutely monstrous and cavernous. I mean, you can't go wrong with that setup. Um, try and think if there's anything else here that's, oh, taillights. So yeah, we went over the headlights and how that was new and integrated. The taillights now also have integrate, integrated lights right there. Here's your main you have your main running light right there. You have your uh, brake light right here. And if you look right here, this is where your reverse light is. It has a really nice, easy setup. Uh, you have three different kind of fake covers. I mean, you can still see there's still an actual 
uh, exhaust coming out there, so you do still get that. But you have three different options on here. So there's this one, there's an M Sport option, and then of course for the M60, it gets a little split down the middle, so you can actually tell exactly which car and trim you got solely on that. And again, showing that increased uh, price, but all the stuff you get standard with it is really really amazing uh, so this particular car only has parking assist package with it that gives you the parking assist professional which is if you haven't seen that i have uh, done, done a review of uh, all the new stuff that i can do and follow this little link right up here and that'll show you through all that as well so basically you get a whole bunch of stuff for free included in the car's price amazing seats great options and of course all the colors and again if you haven't seen it before the Sorry, a little loud around me. I do apologize about that. It's just all the amazing things I hear. There are laser headlights as an option as well. And uh, you can also, the M60 gets standard standard uh, illuminated grill. You can get that with a sport pack in this car as well. Uh, with that, that's kind of just a quick overview. Thanks so much for being with me. If you haven't seen anything else about iDrive 8, uh, we do have that in other videos where I can give you kind of the basics of this. Uh, simplest thing to remember is that most of the things that you might expect, uh, I watched the i4 one, that'll give you most of the sense of when it has uh, new controls, so off, on, control where it goes, you get one, two, three, and four, the way these new guys move, I really like that, I love that integration. Sorry, I'm not sure if it right to say it but it reminds me of a better version of volvo's <laughs> way of doing this um yeah i mean everything else on here is pretty standard and what you'd expect and remember uh you do still have a uh key option right here digital keys uh physical one right here as i mentioned before digital key plus as well USB-C in there for if you want and of course if you opt for the other ones they still have other goodies that you can get if you haven't configured it go online configure it yourself you can also get gas gla oh, gas glass controls for these guys right here if you really want that um and yeah i wish it was dark out so i could actually show you guys what it looks like with the rest of the ambient lighting going <laughs> anywho that's it Thanks so much for being with us. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this new look for the X7 and the 7 Series. Uh, another thing, if you haven't seen the other one I have, Ford, uh, going over those cars that I saw up at Corporate. Please, uh, you know, take a peek at that too while you're at it. And hopefully you found this uh, helpful. God, look at the size of those brakes. Sorry, just looking. This is actually the first time I'm seeing this without cladding in person. I mean, those are massive, massive brakes. Woo. And the S-Board only gets bigger. That's what she said. <clears throat> Anywho, am I allowed to say on YouTube? I don't know if I am. Oh, here's a great look at those 4K cameras right up there to give you that augmented reality uh, that you get as well. And again, if you haven't seen those, I've done a couple other ones with the iX. Uh, the augmented reality is in the iX as well. Please take a look at that as well. Gotta love that. And uh, thanks so much for being with us. So have a great rest of your day and ciao. Cheers. Let me know what you guys want to see next.